U.S. Transportation Secretary in town right now announcing plans for the first EV corridor connecting Michigan to Canada. Fox News' Charlie Langton joins us live. And Charlie, this is a huge step towards an electrified future. Absolutely, this is a huge step. There's no question about that. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking when we talk about electric vehicles, you're thinking about where can I charge my car, my vehicle, if I get stranded. And oh, I know what you're thinking, that if you go over to Canada, oh my gosh, will you ever be able to get charge in Canada or would you get stuck there? Well, today, yes, the Secretary of Transportation and the equivalent from Canada, they were right here, just a little ways away from me, and they announced what's called the Binational EV Corridor. A lot of big words, meaning charging stations from Quebec to Kalamazoo about 850 miles, I don't know how many kilometers, but a lot of them, every 50 miles or so, there'll be a new charging station from Quebec, I think Quebec's that way, and then, uh, and, and that's right, Quebec to Kalamazoo. All right, anyway, it's so important that uh, a lot of people were here today, besides the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, his Canadian equivalent, Mayor Duggan, the governor, and the governor said specifically, because of this, you can drive your electric car in Canada and you'll never get stuck. Take a look. As we all know, there is nothing more pure Michigan than accidentally driving into Canada. <laughs> About $148 billion in cross-border trade came through Detroit past year alone. And about a third of that was related to the automotive sector. This transition isn't going to happen overnight, but it's happening quickly. And what I want people to know is that electric vehicles offer an opportunity to capture savings from, uh, of course, fuel savings directly, but also maintenance savings. We are predicted to dominate battery manufacturing by 2030, according to business experts, journalists and financiers, and leading beneficiaries of projects funded that use incentives from the Inflation Reduction Act. And one of the ways to encourage these purchases is by letting you know that you will be able to charge your car on the road, especially when you're traveling long distances or across the border, accidentally or not. All right, accidentally or not. Uh, one other benefit to this corridor, jobs. About 16,000 jobs are predicted building these charging stations from Kalamazoo to Quebec or the other way around. IBEW Local 58, they'll be coordinating, coordinating the building of these, and they were here as well, very happy about that. Now, the goal uh, to have about 50% of all new vehicle sales in the United States, 50%, will be uh, all it will be electric by 2030 canada though they've got a little more aggressive goal they want to have a net zero emissions by 2050 so this is very very important now when will these charging stations start i'm told that some have already started but probably toward the end of the year and it will take a couple of years before they will be completed anyway a big announcement and it should take a lot of relief from people who are worried about taking long distance trips and not having a charging station. Every 50 miles, it gets 80 kilometers, right? You're from Canada, right? Yes. Uh, Roop, uh, Tarrant, I'll send it back to you. I'm glad you had someone there for a reference. Uh, 900 million bucks, the president says, will help with 500,000 charging stations in America, all part of that stimulus money that was passed. The question is, can our grid handle it? We know what happened with those power outages recently. Yes, yeah, so actually, that what they were there were discussions about the grid, and yes, apparently part of that money from the stimulus package uh, will be to beef up the grid. I don't know all the mechanics about how they do this. That's why we want the IBEW local to figure that stuff out. But obviously, it's not just a a single effort. This is a very large effort, and a lot of uh, you know entities will have to take place to make these charging stations. And again, it's not overnight. It is going to take a little while, but it's very very aggressive. It is the first international charging station project in, I guess, the whole world. And that's why it's such a big deal. But a lot of people really are worried. Can I go on a long trip and have some place to charge my vehicle? And now the answer is yes. And now you can go right, right, right over there, hmm. Canada, and come back in the United States in your electric vehicle. Yeah, you know, the, the big three are making electric cars, not just for Americans, but for the whole world. And people forget that because we're only thinking about our own country. Uh, it's an interesting future we're looking at here. Charlie Langton for us live. Thank you.